Yes. How do you find all these off-market deals? Oh, well, that's a fantastic good, good question. question. Good question. Good question. Good question. I am so surprised that we've ever asked me that three minutes before. All right. So, off-market deals are where we really want to be playing at, right? But on the MLS, it's too late, especially in a market like this. Seven years ago, when everything was REO, MLS was you just go there, go to auction, go to MLS, pick stuff out, and there was deals all over the place. The problem in that cycle was nobody wanted to invest any money, so people were scared, right? So if you had some cash, you could just go buy, it's like going to Walmart, I want some of these, I want some of those, buy this, take some of that, scoop that into my basket, and you're doing really well. Well, the market's completely reversed itself now, which is now everybody wants to invest in real estate because it's smart too, right? And nobody has any deals because they're hard to find, um, and which is should be the normal state of things in an appreciative market, right? What we do to find properties, and I have an acquisitions team that does this on a full-time regular basis, is um, this is the way we train. So um, what your first thing you're going to do is identify your target market. You're just finding people that want to sell their property or helping them realize <laughs> they want to sell their property. I recommend that no matter what type of um, asset class you're going after, whether it's apartments, commercial, land, single family houses, whatever, is you have no more than 500 uh, targets in your target market. The reason is it's hard to manage. Because what I want you to do is go out and develop a relationship with that 500 person target market. 480 of those houses will sell over seven years. Right? So 68 will sell per year. Let's divide that by 12. Five of those properties will sell on average every month for the next seven years. Here's the thing. If you're hitting this market with one or two pieces of mail and then leave it, you're nobody to that group of 500 people. But if you work that 500 person target market and commit to it for seven years, right? commit to it for one year, you should, be, you should have the opportunity to buy or sell five houses a month or five properties out of that market a month, right? So if you're only doing one-fifth of the business that you're communicating with, you'll sell, one. you'll sell one a month or buy one a month or whatever your target strategy is, right? It's just metrics. It's just, we're, it's just, it's just numbers. That's a damn good deal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now that we're talking.